Well, rockets are, um, today are powered by chemistry. Uh, the way it works is that um, the uh, fuel that you carry on board uh, actually, actually burns, actually explodes inside this uh, rocket uh, a motor and uh, you get a lot of exhaust uh, which is very hot. That's how the rocket works. In the rockets that we're developing today, we use electricity okay. instead of the chemistry of these fuels. And the electricity comes from a, a solar panel, a solar collector, uh, at least when we're near the Earth and therefore near the sun in a way. We have plenty of sun to do this job. The electricity is uh, used to heat the, the plasma and we pretty much heat the plasma the same way you heat your coffee in your microwave oven. You just put it in there and uh, these uh, electromagnetic waves, uh, microwaves, which you call in the oven, uh, come in and, and, and make the plasma really hot. And of course, in the microwave oven, you don't want to make it too hot, but in, in, in the case of the plasma rocket, we make it up to millions of degrees. What happens is that when you go really far away from the sun, then the solar panels tend to get really big. In fact, it gets to the point where the sun is too far away and you cannot really use solar power. At that point, we need another power source, which will be a nuclear reactor. And this is a very important thing that we have to realize, that if we really want to explore deep in space, we need to develop nuclear electric power plants to carry us far and deep into the solar system. The sun will not be uh, strong enough. You know, when you are out to the orbit of uh, Saturn or uh, Neptune or maybe even Pluto, um, the sun is just a bright star. The brightest star in the sky, sure. but it's still not a source of power.